All of Elahi, Mina Shaitan, Iraji. Bismillah, Irahman, Irahi. La Hawla, Wala Kuata. Ilah, Ilahi, Wahual, Ali Radim, Asma, Tahlil. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa ilahukum wa ilahum wa hidum. La ilaha illahu wa rahman ar-Rahim. Wa ilahukum wa ilahum wa hidum. La ilaha illahu wa rahman ar-Rahim. Wa ilahukum wa ilahum wa hidum. La ilaha illahu wa rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayu kayyum. La taakuduhu sinatun wa la naum. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi ard. Men da ladhi yashfahu indu ila bi ithnihi yahlamu. Ma bayna aydihim wa ma kaufahum wa la yuhitun na bi shayin min ilmihi la bi maasha. Wasiya kursi yu samawati wa art. Wala ya uduhu hifuhuma wa huwa ali radhim alif la ameem. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayu kayyum. Huwa ladhi yusawirukum par alhami kaifa yasha'u. La ilaha illa huwa al aziz al hakeem. Shaheed Allahu enna hu la ilaha illa huwa wa malaikatu wa ulul ilmi kima bil kisti. La ilaha illa huwa al-Aziz al-Hakim. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-Ayatmanakum wa la yawmu kiyamati la rayba fihi wa ma nasdaku min al-Ayati ithan. Thalikum Allah rabbukum la ilaha illa huwa al-Khaliqa kulli shayin fa'abuduhu wa huwa ala kulli shayin wa kiyo. Itabi ma uilayka mi rabbika la ilaha illa huwa wa ahlilana musrikeen. Kul ya ayu an-nasu inu la sallallahi alaykum jami'an aladhi la hulmuku samawati wa ard. La ilaha la huwa yuhi umitu fa aminu bilahi wa rasulihi nabiyu dhumi aladhi yuhminu bilahi wa kalimatihi wa tabi'uhu la lakum tahtadun. Wa ma umiru wa ilaha la yahmudu wa ilahan wa hiran. La ilaha la huwa sapanuhu ma yusurikun. Lakat da akum rasulun minan pusiku mazizun alayhi ma enitum marisun alaykum bumufminin. Rawfun rahimun fintula fakul hasbi allahu. La ilaha lahu alayhi tuwakutu wa huwa rabba arshil adhim. Waja was nabi bani isha illa barra fad barahum fir onu wa junuduhu bagyanu adwan hatay thaad rakahu garaku kalamantu annahu. La ilaha illa ladhi amanat bihi banu ishwa illa wa anna amina al-Muslimin. Fillam fa illam yastajibu lakum. Fa ahlamu anna ma unzila bi umalahi wa an. La ilaha illa huwa fahla antum muslimun. Kaldhalika arsamna ka fi umatin kad kalatni kabliha ma muli ta'luwa alayhi maladhi alhayna ilayka wa hum yakfaruna bi rahmani. Kuhu wa rabbi. La ilaha illa huwa alayhi tuwakutu wa ilayhi matabi. Yunazilu malakata biruhi min amrihi ala man yasha'u min ibadihi an enru ennahu. La ilaha illa anna fahtakum. Wa inta tabu khawli fa inahu yahlamu shira wa akhwa. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa lahu asmru husna. Ina niya enna Allahu la ilaha illa enna fahbudni wa kimi salata li dhikri ya ina ma ilahukum Allahu ladhi la ilaha illa huwa wasiya kula shayin ilman wa ma arsalna min kablika mi rasulin ila yuhja ilayhi enna hu la ilaha illa enna fahbudun wa dhanuni dhala haba mugadiban fadala gila alayhi fanadiyya fi dhulumati en La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. La ilaha illa anta sapana kini kuntu mina thalimin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Lam ya lid wa lam ya lad wa lam ya kulhu kufu wa naha kuhu Allah ha'ad la'a samad Lam ya lid wa lam ya lad wa lam ya kulhu kufu wa naha kuhu Allah ha'ad la'a samad Lam ya lid wa lam ya lad wa lam ya kulhu kufu wa naha kuhu Allah ha'ad la'a samad Lam ya lid wa lam ya lad wa lam ya kulhu kufu wa naha kuhu Allah ha'ad la'a samad Lam ya lid wa lam ya lad wa lam ya kulhu kufu wa naha kuhu Allah ha'ad la'a samad Lam ya lid wa lam ya lad wa lam ya kulhu kufu wa naha kuhu Allah Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad 
Wala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad Salatan to Nadi Nabiha, mean Dah Mila Wali Wala Fat. What I'm doing in Abiha, the meal had that. What to hear in Abiha, mean to me, say that. What I'm found Abiha, a lad and a dat. What to believe in Abiha, Axel Gayat, mean Dami, O Kaira, till Hayat, will bad Dama Mat, Allah, whom must only allow, said in our Mohammed. Well, Ali said in our Mohammed. So let turn to Nadi Nabiha, mean Dah Mila, Wali, Wala Fat. What I'm doing in Abiha, the meal had that. What to hear in Abiha, mean to me, say that. What's our final Abiha? Ahla, that a dat. What to believe in Abiha? Axel Gayat, mean Dami, O Kayat, Til Hayat, what bad Dama Mat, Allah, whom must say Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad. Wala, they say in Muhammad, so that Tantin and Abiha, mean Dah Mila, Wale, Wala Fat. What I did in Abiha, Dami, O Hadat, what to Tahir and Abiha, mean Dami, say ya. What's our final Abiha? Ahla, that a dat. What to believe in Abiha? Axel Gayat. Mean Jami O Kairat, Phil Hayat, Wabad Dama Mat. Allahumma Sali Allah Sayyidina Muhammad. O Allah, send prayers upon our beloved Muhammad. At prayers through which you deliver us from all terrors and tribulations and through which you fulfill for us every need, and through which you purify us from every sin, and through which you raise us to the loftiest of degrees in your presence, and through which you cause us to reach the furthest limit in all forms of goodness in this life and after death. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Salatan tina dina biha min dahmil ala huwali wa ala fat. Wa taqdiruna biha jami al hajat. Wa tutahiruna biha min jami sayyat. Wa tarfana biha ahla darajat. Wa tubilina biha aksal gayat min jami il kairat fil hayat wa bahda mamat. Inshallah, this Sunday, we will go over this Salatu Tundina. Uh, let me see how many new people we have. Maybe I should do it tonight. Uh, yeah, we will save this for Sunday's class. Inshallah, we will save that for Sunday's class. If you have it or you don't have it, you should study this prayer called Salatu Tunjina. We will talk about it tonight, inshallah. This one, Salatu Tunjina, after the prayer upon the Prophet from Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi and fasul makhlukati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ash'arul mawjudati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi harufi lohi wa da'awati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mawdumi wa mawjudi ila bahdil al-bari. Wa sallallahu ala khayru khalkihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in. That salat nabi or prayer is my favorite. That one is the most powerful one that I know. It's from Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. And that one, the first time I read it, it brought tears to my eyes. I started crying. That one is special. My second most favorite prayer upon the Prophet has always been this one, this Salatu Tundina. Why do I say that? Because early on in my journey with Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, we're talking about 1996, 1997. And also, uh, 
before we get started, I must extend my apologies to Jedi Raymond. I just want to apologize to you in public. A human being does not talk to a human being in that way. And I offer you my most sincere and deepest apologies in public because you are a wonderful brother. I love you more than I can imagine. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, do not get angry. So as your brother and your friend, I'm giving you this apology for my actions. And I hope you forgive me for speaking to you in such a low vibrational tone. That is not the way of the Aliya, and that is not the way of the sheikhs that I'm following. Although I must say, <laughs> There was one Sheikh in Tuba. The Sheikh in Tuba was very famous. This Sheikh in Tuba, uh, he may still be alive. He was an old man, an old man. When you would go see the Sheikh and ask him to pray for you, he would start cursing at you. And if he cursed at you, this is true. I'm not making, I would not lie on someone from Tuba and Sheikh Ahmed Obama's family. I wouldn't lie on somebody from the family of Tuba and Tuba. This sheikh, when you went to him to pray for you, pray for, ask him to pray, he would curse, oh, you're no good. You're not doing nothing. He would curse at you, F this, that, this, that, go, leave me. And the people said, if he just talked a little bit about you, it was a small blessing. But if he cursed you, your mama, your daddy, your children, if he said something crazy about your whole family, the blessing was huge. <laughs> And uh, that was one of the Wally Ola, the saints who lived in Tuba. But I have nothing in comparison to his maqam or his station. So I'm issuing you uh, this formal apology in public. May Allah forgive me. Anger is no good. There's no place in this path for anger. This is a path of love. So um, from the prayers on the prophet, this one, Salatu Tunjina, was my favorite before the one from Sheikh Ahmed Obama came because early on in my career, um, I started to see the Prophet Muhammad Salam in my visions. I even saw him, I saw him two times before going to Tuba. What, what that means, I don't know. But this Sheikh of the prayer Salat al-Tunjina I was blessed to see him in a dream. I had a vision. And this was before I could really read Arabic, before I knew all my five salats. Uh, I just started going to Tuba, so I know that the, the vision was from Sheikh Ahmed Obama. In the dream, I saw a boat sailing on the ocean. This is a long time ago, 96, 97, one of the first mystical experiences. I saw a boat on the ocean with a lot of passengers who were Muslim and a hurricane was coming to turn the boat over. It was raining. The Muslims on the boat were panicking and there was a Wali Allah, a saint on the boat. And in the middle of the rainstorm and the hurricane coming before the boat could capsize, the saint put his hands up and said, Oh Allah, give me a prayer for the Prophet Muhammad Salam that will remove this storm and save everyone on this boat. Allah sent in the prayer of Salatun Tundina. He recited it, Allahu Masalaylah, Sayyidina Muhammad, Wala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, Salatun Tunadi Nabiha, Minda Milla, Wale Wala Fat. What talk did it be hard? The meal had that. What to the hidden abbey hard mean to me is a yat. What's our fine abbey hard? La da da da. What to believe in abbey hard? Axel Gayat. Mean da meal, Kayat, Phil Hayat, what bad da my mat. In the car, Allah Kuli Shane Gadir. The Sheikh recited it one time and the storm went away. The sea got really calm. And it was from that Wali, that saint, that we received this Salatu Tundina. He gave it and he taught his disciples that. Now, when I saw this in my dream, I thought it was just an interesting dream. That was 1997. Around 2005, 
2007, maybe about 10 years later, I was reading about prayers on the Prophet Muhammad and the different sheikhs who had powerful prayers. And I read about this, this Wali, this saint who was on a ship. And I read how a hurricane was coming to kill everybody on the boat. And the, I was reading how this saint put his hands up to pray to Allah and how this saint received this prayer for Prophet Muhammad. And when I was reading that about 10 years later, I said, oh my God, I saw him. This is the saint, I saw this is the same prayer the saint was reciting, I saw this master. I think it was Sheikh Ahmed al-Badawi from Egypt, but I can't be 100% sure. But recently it came to me that it was Sheikh Ahmed al-Badawi, one of the four Abdal Qutubs who was from Egypt but I'm not 100% sure. But this is the prayer that he received. So I've had a special connection with this prayer for the Prophet Muhammad because I was able to see the Sheikh, the Wali, the Saint, who Allah gave it to on the ship. I saw the whole thing. So it's been my favorite since about 2007. So um, I memorized it, of course. And uh, once there was a, a, a I'll say, Sheikh Mbaki Fall. Sheikh Mbaki Fall is a grandson of Sheikh Ibn Fall. Sheikh Mbaki Fall uh, was the Bifal Sheikh that I studied under, who I was with for a while. May Allah bless him, and I will always love Sheikh Mbaki Fall. His older brother is the Caliph of all Bifal. So Sheikh Mbaki Fall, he came to my house a few times from Senegal. He came here to my house, same living room I'm sitting in. And uh, once there was this me and Sheikh Mbaki Fall, grandson of Sheikh Ibn Fall, in my house, the same house, we were talking. And you know, I'm greedy. So I asked him, I said, Sheikh Mbaki Fall, what's your favorite prayer on the Prophet Muhammad? Sheikh Mbaki Fall said, oh, my favorite prayer for the Prophet Muhammad is Salatul Tunjina. I said, no way. I recited it from memory. He said, what? I said, is this the one? He said, yeah, that's my favorite prayer on the Prophet Muhammad, Lay Islam. I said, can I have your permission to recite it? Because I want his permission. Sheikh Mbaki Fall said, yeah, I give it to you to recite 100 times a day. 111 for Sheikh Ibn Fall. So Sheikh Mbaki Fall, he was the first Sheikh to give me Ithan or permission to recite. I couldn't believe out of all the prayers on Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, the grandson of Sheikh Ibn Fall, Sheikh Mbaki Fall, told me that his favorite prayer was Salatul Tunjina. And in my mind, that was already my favorite prayer. So I couldn't even believe that. Then um, studying with uh, our beloved Sheikh, Sheikh Tijan, um, Sheikh Tijan though, I lived with him in the mosque. I'm a bit reclusive. I lived in his mosque for six months in the Bronx. I lived in the mosque, slept on the floor. The Sheikh took a liking to me, gave me a lot of gifts from the Tijani Tariqa. Uh, I don't know too many people that have permission to give Bayat in Tijani and Bayat in Murid. That's all I'm gonna say. But um, he gave me, uh, <laughs> now, the Tijani Sheikh, he gave me a lot, a lot, a lot of gifts from the Tijani Tariqa, but one of the last things he blessed me with, I was going through some difficulties, dealing with uh, some outer jinns that I was fighting. And I told the Sheikh, Sheikh, I have these jinns and enemies that I need to defeat. Do you have something that can help me defeat these enemies on the outside? And he said, yes, I will give you Salat al I said, what? Fire burn, Bamba. So he gave me Salatu Tunjina, but he gave me the verse in Quran to go with it. That is for destroying your enemies. So that is when I learned the key for Salatu Tunjina and the verse in Quran that you recite 70 times after the Salatu Tunjina. And the verse in the Quran is specifically for defeating enemies. So this prayer, I can say I have a, a love for this one. Um, 
Salat and Tumjina, I give it to all the disciples to recite. Um, I've posted it in the chat before. I've sent it to different disciples. This prayer removes all the difficulties in your life because of the way that it came to the shake. This prayer will remove all of the storms from your life. This prayer was given to the Wali Allah on the ship and he recited it one time and it removed the hurricane and caused the sea to become calm and stop the rain. So the hurricane and the sea represents the tests and trials in your life. So when you recite this prayer, it calms the storms of your life. And right now in this hell of North America, in this hell of North America where we live, you're going to need this prayer. You're going to need this Salata Tundina. Because my friends, I'm telling you, storms are already here. Babylon is burning. Rastafari says you can see the smoke. Man, they had an election and we still ain't got no president. You better wake the fuck up. This place is finished. They don't even know who to... <laughs> this is the time for spiritual warfare. We are in the middle of 911 emergency. This is not a dress rehearsal. If you don't get serious about your spiritual practices now, get a job at McDonald's, please. How would you like your order? Supersize those fries, ma'am? If you don't see the emergency that we are in, that is a man-made emergency. I, I, let me remind you, this stuff is man-made. They made that uh, coronavirus in the lab. Corona-19, that means they did it 18 times before they got to the number 19. Come on. They made that. They have a patent for the coronavirus online. You can go look up online. They got a patent for a virus that was invented in the lab. You can find a patent for it. On, they, they invented that. The political climate, and you know, I don't, I don't have a TV. I haven't owned a TV in twenty years. I wouldn't buy a TV. You couldn't pay me to put a TV in my house for what? I got too many prayers to do. Well, I look like watching a half hour of television when I could be doing a half hour of la 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 la. This is me. Don't be like me. If you like TV, you got a favorite show you watch. Go ahead and watch it. But me, I haven't owned a TV since I graduated from college. And, uh, but anyway, telling lies to your vision. Without a television, you can tell that the climate in this country is red hot. Red hot. The philosophers say in a time of peace, prepare for war, and in a time of war, prepare for peace. This prayer I'm giving you can protect you and your family. This prayer I'm giving you can protect you and your family. This prayer, Salatu Tunjina, can protect you and your family. And it's so powerful, you only have to recite 111 times a day, 100 times from the Tijani Tariqa, 111 times from Sheikh Ibn Falls family. Either one of these numbers are good. You want to memorize it. You want to recite it. And anyone who takes the time to memorize it, if you memorize it and call me on the phone and recite it from memory, I will teach you the verse in the Quran that the Tijani Sheikh gave to me that will destroy your enemies. That I'm not giving out in the public. But once you memorize it, 
and you call me and say, Sheikh, I got Salat al Tunjina memorized. I will give you the verse in Quran to go with it to destroy uh, the enemies. Now, what I found out is this ho, ho, ho. Yes, the Salat al Tunjina destroys the outer enemies, but for the Sufi, the true enemy is Nav Tower, Dunya, Satan. I don't give a blank who the president is. I got Nafs, I got Dunya, I got Howard, I got Satan to deal with. It don't matter if Martin Luther King, Malcolm X is president, I'ma still have to deal with my own Nafs, my lower self. I'ma still have to fight Dunya, attraction to materialism. I'ma still have to fight passions and desires. Matrix say, were you looking at me or the lady in the red dress? And I'ma still have to fight the all the lie of Satan. So for a Sufi, the true enemy is not the government. I don't care who is in the government. That's not my concern. As a matter of fact, Serene Salyu, as a matter of fact, Serene Salyu didn't even like people to talk about politics in the holy city of Tuba. Serene Salyu didn't like people to talk about politics in the city of Tuba. So in the way of Sheikh Ahmed Obama, we focus on our own enemies, the Nafs, the Howard, Dunya Shaitan. If you recite this prayer, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad, salatan tuna jina biha, min jahmila la huwale wa la fat, wa taqbira la biha, jamila la hajat, wa tutihina la biha, min jamila sayyat, wa tarfa la biha, ahla da da jat, wa tubliga la biha, aksal gayat, min jamila, kaila fil hayat, wa bata mamat, inaka, Oops, I almost said the verse in Quran. It will destroy and defeat the four enemies. Let me read it in English again. O oh Allah, send upon our master Muhammad a prayer through which you deliver us from all terrors and tribulations. So that will, this prayer will deliver you from the tumultuous times and the tests and trials of this time period. Tribulations, it will free you from the disturbances of your mind just by reciting it. And through which you fulfill for us our every need. This prayer will take care of your earthly needs, your heavenly needs. The blessings of sending prayers on the Prophet Muhammad are so heavy that they take care of heavenly needs, the blessings from the next life, and they take care of what we need here on the earth. And through which you purify us from every sin. Woo! When you recite this prayer, it's so heavy on the scales that Allah forgives your sins. This is the characteristic of any prayer that you send on the Prophet Muhammad Sallam. One of the prayers, one of the uh, powers of sending salawat and prayers on the Prophet is that it purifies you from sin because it outweighs the bad that you have done. In the Quran, Allah says, if you do a bad deed, rush to do a good deed. Reciting prayers on the Prophet Muhammad is one of the best deeds that we can do for purification of our sins. And through which you raise us to the loftiest of degrees in your presence. Doing this prayer will put you in what we call uh, 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 the Mukarni boom. Those who are drawn foremost to Allah. If you ever read Surah Tawakia, you'll see that Allah said in Surah Tawakia, there will be three groups in the next life. There'll be people on the left in the hellfire. There'll be people on the right in heaven. Then there'll be people who are the foremost and who are the closest to Allah. So why does Allah mention three? We all heard about heaven and hell. But in Surah Tawakia, Allah says there will be people in the divine presence in the foremost proximity to Allah. And that is where this prayer takes you. What do he say? And through which you raise us to the loftiest of degrees in your presence. And through which you cause us to reach the furthest limit in all forms of goodness. This is for the perfection of your character. Good quality, not getting angry. <laughs> Good qualities.
being a true Muslim, practicing the Sharia, praying five times a day, fasting in Ramadan. This prayer will bring you to all forms of goodness, to the highest forms of goodness in this life and in the hereafter. That is why this prayer is a form of tawassal. Ooh, wait. Let me tell y'all about this Arabic word. There is a word called tawassal. T-A-W-A-S-U-L. Tawassal is approaching Allah through the doorway of a holy being, a holy prophet, a holy saint, the holy Quran, through the sheikh. Whenever we say Barke Sirin Salyu, we are doing to whistle to Allah by the blessings of Sirin Salyu. Where do we find to whistle is seeking? This prayer is a form of to whistle to Allah through Prophet Muhammad Salam, to receive a certain amount of blessings through the Prophet Muhammad Salam. Now, where do we first see to whistle? The Prophet Adam Salam. When the prophet Adam was expelled from heaven and he came to earth, when prophet Adam came to planet earth, he said to Allah, oh Allah, forgive me by the blessings of Muhammad. Did you hear what I just said? The first prophet who came, Adam, when he came from heaven to earth, the first thing he said to Allah was, oh Allah, Forgive me by the blessings of Muhammad. Adam was making to whistle through Muhammad who wasn't even here on earth yet. So Allah asked Adam, oh Adam, how do you know about Muhammad? What would make you ask me to forgive you by this name Muhammad? Where have you seen this name Muhammad? Adam said, alayhi salam, as I fell from heaven, on your throne, Allah, I saw la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And since I saw the name Muhammad next to your name, Allah, I knew this Muhammad must be somebody close to you. So I'm asking you to forgive me by this Muhammad Rasulullah. This is the weight of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that even the first prophet, Adam, asked Allah for forgiveness through Muhammad. So. Peace and blessings be upon Sayyidina Muhammad. This prayer, Sindidi. When you read Sindidi, Allah will be Mustafa, Sindidi, Allah will be Kalilika, Ibrahim, Allah will be Musa. And the prayer, Sindidi, Sheikh Abu Dhabama is doing to whistle. He's calling on all of the prophets in the Quran. He's calling on the uh, Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Ali, Jibril, Mikhail, Safil, Ezra'il. The throne of Allah, the Kursi, the Torah, the Injil, the Quran. He even calls on the wives of Prophet Muhammad as a form of Tawassu and Sindidi. So this prayer, because he says, and by this prayer, grant us these things. So we are using this prayer as a form of Tawassu by sending prayers on the Prophet Muhammad and asking Allah, but by these by this prayer on Muhammad, deliver us from all terrors and tribulations, and through which you fulfill us our every need, and through which you purify us from every sin, and through which you raise us to the loftiest degrees in your presence, and through which you cause us to reach the furthest limit in all forms of goodness in this life and after death. So this prayer is a form of success, heavenly success and earthly success. I have been reciting this prayer profusely since the beginning of Rabia Awam. I have been reciting this prayer by the blessings of Sheikh Ahmed al-Badawi, the Ketub from Egypt since the Rabia Alwal, the month of the birth of the prophet. One of the greatest things that I can do as a sheikh, as a teacher, as a representative of Sheikh Ibrahim 
and Sheikh Ahmed Obama. In America, one of the greatest things that I can do is give you the love of Rasulullah or guide you to loving Muhammad, guide you toward sending prayers and peace upon Muhammad, deliver you to the sanctuary guidance and light of Muhammad, ask you and even beg you to send prayers and salawat upon Muhammad. Because every sheikh that I know, every wali that you ever read about, they all got their blessing from Muhammad. They all got their blessing from Muhammad. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba is called Kadim Rasul. That is his station. Kadim Rasul, the Kadim, the worker for Rasulullah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba is Kadim Rasul, the one who does kidma for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if our, the foundation of our path is kidma to Rasul, work for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one of the greatest works you can do is send prayers on the Prophet. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba has a a Kasai called Mukadima to Kidma, one of my favorite Kasai's. Mukadima to Kidma means the introduction to work. Mukadima to Kidma is a prayer for Prophet Muhammad that takes seven days to read it. Sheikh Ahmed Obama has 787 names of Muhammad in Mukadima to Kidma. You never heard of a Sheikh who gives. 787 names of Prophet Muhammad Islam. Nowhere on planet Earth did anyone ever give that other than Sheikh Abu Bamba. But the name of the prayer is called Mukali Matu Kidma, the introduction to work. So he's telling you that the work is sending prayers on Prophet Muhammad Islam because that work will give you Tardabia, Tarkia, and Tasbia. Kidma. Doing work. Shaky Rafal says, Jiff Jill. Jiff Jill. Jiff, you put in the action to work. Jill, you receive some blessings from Allah. The Kidma of Sheikh Abu Baba was his salawat and prayers on the Prophet. 95% of Sheikh Abu Baba's over 1,000 Kasides, at least. 95% of them are prayers on Prophet Muhammad Sheikh Salaam. Sheikh Ahmed Obama said that my teacher, Sheikh Farmi, told me the reason most of the prayers of Sheikh Ahmed Obama's Kasai are on the Prophet Muhammad, you ain't gonna believe this. My teacher, Sheikh Farmi, told me that when Sheikh Ahmed Obama would sit down, face the east with his felt, with his pen and dip it in the ink, he said, when Sheikh Ahmed Obama would say, Bismillah, Man Rahim, the Prophet Muhammad would come and sit in front of him. And he said that when the Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Salaam would come and sit in front of Sheikh Ahmed Obama, the only thing he could write was prayers on the Prophet Alayhi Salaam. Because the Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Salaam would be there with him. If you read the Kasai called Jesbu Kulub, in Jesbu Kulub, the Prophet Muhammad came and sat with Sheikh Ahmed Obama and put his hands on his knees. He was praising him so much. Then in Jesbu Kulub, Sheikh Ahmed Obama began to say the Prophet Muhammad's eyebrows are like this. His forehead is like this. His cheeks are like this. His hair is like this. His shoulders are about this wide. His chest is like this. Sheikh Ahmed Obama wrote in the Kasai exactly what he was seeing in front of him. So if you have just Kulub and a good translator like I had, Abdullah Farmi, you can almost draw a picture of Prophet Muhammad, what he looked like from the Kasai because he was sitting in front of Sheikh Ahmed Obama when he wrote it. 
This is where I want all of my students to go towards. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, sending prayers on the prophet. Mohibu Nafi is enough. If you read Mohibu Nafi, you're reading one of the greatest prayers on the prophet Muhammad alayhi salam on planet earth. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba said, I set out to write the most perfect prayer on the prophet Muhammad alayhi salam. And he said, the most perfect prayer came out as Muhibu Nafi. This is Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba's Muhibu Nafi could be the most perfect prayer on the planet Earth for Prophet Muhammad Islam, because that's what Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, if he said it to me, it's the most perfect one. Muhibu Nafi. Fima Dai Shafi. Bismi Ilahi Yan Muluhai Bila Manahi Walanti Hai. Hamdan Lira B Kari Mura B Kara Makabi Bilikti Dai. Lahu Shukuri Bila Kufuri Wawana Siri Min Hupi Dai. This Muhaibu Nafi is so powerful, it's more powerful than any shake. Mahabu Nafi is more powerful than me. Mahabu Nafi can do more for you than what I can do. Word word up. Facts. Mahabu Nafi, I'm not. Mohammed Nabi is more powerful than me. Not saying that I have any power, because I don't have nothing that didn't come from Sudin Saliu. But Mohammed Nabi, it would be very difficult to find a sheikh on planet Earth that can do more for you than reading Mohammed Nabi can do for you. That's why Sheikh Ahmed Obama said it's better to read my Kasides than to go study with a sheikh from another tariqah. It's better to read Mohibu Nafi, Jesbu Kulu, Sindidi, uh, to Maraki, my favorite, Mafati Obishri. It's better to read these Kasides, Mukadi Matukima, than study with the Sheikh from another order because Sheikh Ahmed Obama's Kasai can give you Tarbiya, Tarkiya, and Tasfiya. Tarbiya, purification of your soul. Tarkia, education of your soul. Tasfia, elevation of your soul to the seven stations. You can receive Tarbiya, Tarkia, and Tasfia from the Kasides of Sheikh Ahmed Bamba if you know what Kasides to read. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba says the only thing that can take someone to Allah without a Sheikh is Salawat to Nabi. Let me say that again. Karim Rasul, Sheikh Ahmed Obama said, the only thing that can take someone to Allah without a sheikh is sending prayers on the prophet. It's not about having no secret zikr. I found that out the hard way. People know, Sheikh Sufi, I always want, boy, listen, I always want your secret zikr, man. I've been collecting secret zikrs for 20 years. I do not recite any of those secret zikrs anymore. Only thing I do is read Kasai and do a stock for Allah and do prayers on Prophet Muhammad. I don't do none of my secret zikrs no more. I'm paying attention to Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. Read his Kasai is better than any name that I got from a Sheikh somewhere. The prayer that I do now is from Sareen Sali, Allahumma Sali Allah Sayyidina Muhammad was Sali. I'm doing that more than any other Salat al Nabi because I got that from Serene Salihu. I'm trying to be right in order with what Serene Salihu gave. Serene Salihu told all of us during the last Ramadan to recite Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammad was Salli 313 times. That's the Salawat that I'm using, 313 times seven. Ooh. That's the main zipper that I'm doing all day with Kasai's. I might throw in Yala Latif, but stop it a lot. I ain't gonna be able to stop reciting Yala Latif because Allah says in the Quran, Allah who Latif from Billy Badihi, Yarazuku man Yashau who al Kawil Aziz. Allah is gentle with his worshipers. So when you recite the name Yala Latif, according to the Quran, Allah will become gentle with you. I'm talking too much. And it's almost, almost been an hour. I do not like to talk more than no hour. So my advice to all students, all disciples of Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, all of us who are, oh my God, I see Jaren Lampfall in the building. Now, how 
I talked so much, I didn't even look to see who was in here. Ziyar and Allah Judin, Lamb Fall, Sama Khalid, Sama Judin. I just looked and saw the Sheikh uh, Judin, Lamb Fall was here. I want to open the, uh, the floor for any questions or comments. My advice to all of you. Learn the Salat of Tunjina. I know Sheikh and Bati Fall, the Bifal Sheikh would be happy for you if you learn it. I will be happy for you. The Prophet Muhammad will be happy. Sheikh Akhubam will be happy. Focus on sending prayers on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and read the Mahaibu Nafi as much as you can. If you do these things, you can be successful in this journey. Increase your prayers on the Prophet Muhammad. Never stop saying a stock for Allah. Always keep your a stock for Allah. Always keep your a stock for Allah. Make your salat on time. If you can, make your salat on time. Read as much of the Quran as you can. Check out Obama said, my disciples will do three things. He said, my disciples will read at least one verse of Quran every day. Will recite at least one verse of Kasai every day. And will drink at least one cup of coffee too, but every day. This is Check out Obama. Read at least one verse of Quran every day. Read at least one uh, verse of Kasai every day. Drink at least one cup of coffee too every day if you can. Check out Nubamba. Eat less, sleep less, talk less. Eat less, sleep less, talk less. The only enemies we have to face are our own enemies, our internal enemies. Check out Nubamba said there's no more outer jihad. The only jihad that's left is the inner jihad, the jihad on Nabs. You must, you must, you must fight with spiritual practices. Let me open these up for questions and comments because it's been an hour and I do not like talking to people. It's a lot going on in the chat. meeting say uh where are we at where are we at uh unmute bismillah the floor is open if you want to unmute yourself or comment the floor is open bismillah hey, oh excuse me walaikum salam is that my journey? Who's somebody uh, asking? Somebody have a question or now Sally who? Oh, wa alaikum salam is now. Salam wa noor. You have a question, beloved? But it's huh? Yeah. You sound like Charlie Brown's teacher, my friend. Womp, womp, womp. Man, oh, man. I just wanted to say, uh, can you talk a little bit? I, my whole thing just disconnected me, but can you talk a little bit more about the, some of the benefits of sending Salawat upon the Prophet Salawat when they would send them? Because I didn't know that they do things like, uh, you know, uh, it, it cancel out sins, oh. protection, just different things. It's all yeah, uh, um, the hadith of the Prophet Islam, and the sheikhs have informed us that sending prayers on the Prophet has many different effects. One, it erases sins. Two, it removes difficulties. 
Three, it raises your station. Four, it removes poverty and brings you wealth and prosperity. But of all of these five, it makes you close to Prophet Muhammad Islam. The Prophet Muhammad Islam said, the ones who will be the closest to me in the next life will be the ones who sent the most prayers on me in this life. Salawat, I met, man, listen, one time I was at Bauma Hayden's Masjid when I lived in the, in the uh, Bauma Hayden community. Uh, what were we talking, 13 years ago, I lived in Bauma Hayden's community, spent a lot of time in the mosque because I lived four houses down from the mosque. I love mosque. That's Sufi mosque, anyway. So I spent a lot of time in Bauma Hayden's mosque here in Philly. And after Isha prayer, there was a Sufi in the mosque 13 years ago, who was from India. And, you know, I'm the nosy guy. Every time after Isha, I stay in the mosque to do my zikr and everybody leave would be me and one guy from India in the mosque. And he's sitting over there doing his zikr. So, you know, I'm nosy. I asked the brother, Salaam alaikum. Brother, I see you. He was older too. He was an older gentleman from India. He was visiting. I asked him, brother, what zikrs are you doing? I see you every night after Isha. Is this me, you here in the angels? We doing zikr. I'm asking you, what zikrs are you doing? Where are you from? He said, I'm from India. He said, I'm from India. And my sheikh, my tariqah, he said, my sheikh, he only give us salat to nabi. I said, what? He said, my sheikh only gives prayers on the Prophet Muhammad, lay salam. He said, the only zikrs I do are prayers on the Prophet Muhammad. I said, whoa, that's deep. Because in the salawat, do you know prayer on the prophet is accepted with or without a wudu? Prayer on the prophet is so powerful, you can recite prayer on the prophet in the bathroom and it's still accepted. Prayer on the prophet is so powerful, you can recite it after certain activities with your husband on your wife and it's still accepted without taking a gusha or a shower. There is nothing more powerful than prayer on the Prophet and it has multiple effects. One of the effects is it removes your bad qualities and bad character. The best way to remove character defects is to send prayers upon the one who had no character defects. The more you say the name Muhammad, 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 on a good day, I try to do 12th out. On a good day, I try to do 12,000 prayers on the Prophet Lays Alam. I want to say his name at least 12,000. I done lost my mind. Why am I trying to do 12,000 prayers? 12,000 prayers on the Prophet is for somebody to live in a mountain somewhere, not for somebody who lives in North Philadelphia. But I be trying my damnedest to get them in. So um, the prayers on the Prophet Lays Alam will make you like Prophet Muhammad Lays Alam. Will, will protect I have a question. <laughs> oh, what, one last thing. Sheikh Ahmed Obama said that the Satan, the devil, does not approach someone doing prayers on Muhammad. That's from Sheikh Ahmed Obama. Oh, okay. Yes, please ask your question, sister. Yes. Okay. Um. So the the three hundred and thirteen for the next seven days that that practice that now that has Muhammad in it. Is that part of what you're talking about? Yes. Yes. Because our Sheikh Sareen Saliu. He asked all of us to say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad was salim 313 times. So that is the, the prayer that I gave to all the disciples to recite is that one from Sreem Salihu. Because anything that came from Sreem Salihu is better than anything that came from anybody else to, to me. If it came from Sreem Salihu, it's got something heavy in it. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad was salim, yes. 313 times a day for the next seven days. Yes. And I got one more question. Um, what was the other, you said the Salatu, I know you said the Mahab, the Mahabunafi. Uh -huh, Mahabunafi. 
It was Salatu something. I forgot the name that you had. Oh, Salatu Tunzina is the one that I went over today. Uh, I'm going to send it into the chat group right now. Okay. Thank you. Do I? Anytime. It's sent. For everyone in the chat group, I just sent it again. The one that I was teaching on today. Is, oh, and Sister Carolyn, I want to say thank you for uh, teaching your son, Debron, the Wolof lesson. He showed out in class today. Debron knew all that Wolof today. Thank you for reviewing it with him. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, any other it's, questions or comments? Islam. Islam, Brother Akil, yes. <laughs> Islam. Um, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, first and foremost, I rise giving all praise to Allah, the highest honor to his noble and divine prophet from uh from Muhammad to uh Noble Drew Ali, Islam. Um Islam. I want to know uh you said um you said uh ah I was just wanted to confirm you said uh Sheikh Sheikh Ahmed Bamba's uh Kasides uh can do, uh, can raise your tabia, tarbia, tasia, and taskia. Um, yes. They, they handle. They take care of that, right? Yeah. If you know which ones to read, yes. Exactly. That was. Uh, yeah. You 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 mentioned one specific name. I I I. I I I I guess I I have to meditate on it or something. I don't know. Three that I can give every disciple. If you read the Asmotahlil, uh, we put out a book called The Sword of Light that has the Asmotahlil in it. We sent out a PDF with the Asmotahlil. Asmotahlil is the 34 verses of Quran collected by Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. If you read Asmotahlil, Sindidi, and Muhaibu Nafi every day, you're on the highway speeding to God. With, with just those three, Asmotahlil, Sindidi and Muhaibu Nafi, if you read those three every day, you ain't got to call me no more. You ain't even got to see me no more. I'm just telling you. If you read those three, I, because Sheikh Ahmed Obama say in the beginning of Muhaibu Nafi, he said that Muhaibu Nafi will bring you Iman, Islam, and Islam. What else is it? Talibu to Iman, well, Islam, well, Islam. In the introduction, Sheikh Ahmed Obama say reading this Kasai will give you Islam. Iman and Isan. Isan is the state of perfection. Uh, Srim Falu, I love telling this story. Oh man, I'm talking too much. Srim Falu had a, a disciple who came to him, had a mischievous son who was doing bad actions. He was starting to do some bad actions. She brought her son to Srim Falu and said, Srim Falu, can you pray for my son? Srim Falu said, what's going on? She said, well, he's starting to be mischievous. His behavior is getting to be uh, he's not having good conduct anymore. Serene Fowler said, give him Mohaibu Nafi and tell him to read it. He'll stop doing everything bad. Did you hear what I said? Serene Fowler, who had coon by a coon, could have just prayed for this young man and made him stop. Serene Fowler told the, the lady, give your son Mohaibu Nafi, tell him to read it, and he'll stop doing all his bad actions. So that's tarbiya. Tarbiya is when you purify yourself and stop doing bad acts. Iman, Islam, Islam can be found in Muhaibu Nafi. The Noor of Fah Muhammad can be found in Muhaibu Nafi. If you're reading uh, Asma Tafalil, it's giving you Tasfiya, taking you straight up. If you're reading the Sindidi, it's give, oh Lord. The Sindidi is giving you uh, Tarakia, spiritual education is coming from Sindidi. So in those three, you got Tarabia, Tarakia, and Tasfia. Just with Asma Tahlil, Sindidi, and uh, Muhammad Nafi. Now there's a Kasai called Astaghfirullah Bihi. If one of the best things you can do, uh, I sent it out somebody got extremely angry with me. We're waiting on that Kasai to be reissued to give out to everyone. But a stock for a lobby, he is a Kasai from Sheikh Ahmed Bamba. 
that forgives all sins, I read it every day. It should be read every day. It's a shortcut sign for forgiveness. So let me reiterate that. You need a stop for a lot of the sign for forgiveness. Asmatahlil, Sindidi, and Mohaibo National every day. You can read a stock for Labihi and Sindidi in the morning, Asma Tahlil and Mohaibo Nafi at night. Don't try to do it all day. Don't try to do it all in one sitting. A stock for Labihi in the morning and Sindidi in the morning, you always have money and you can protect you from tests and trials. Asma Tahlil at night, when Mohaibo Nafi at night, you always have money and you'll always go toward the new and light of Muhammad. These are four signs that I can't wait to teach a class on a stock for a lobby heat whenever I'm given permission to do such a thing. Uh, so that's my recommendation. Those four signs: a stock for a lobby heat, Asma Tafalil, Sindidi, and Mohaibo Nafi. Now we are working on the publication of a Kasai called Salata Aliyah. When that prayer of the Aulia comes out, when that Kasai Salata Aulia comes out, all of our students will be extremely blessed by Sheikh Abu Mama to get that in their hands. Salata Aulia is a Kasai from Sheikh Abu Mama that makes you a Wali. And the entire Salata Aulia is prayer on the Prophet. And I'm still talking too much. Who else has a question? Because Shukran, I'm ready. Jazila. Shukran, Jazila. Uh, Brother Jedi Raymond, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, wadud. Um, I, I'm, I'm hung up on Salat al-Tunjina. I'm, I'm looking at a portion of the translation in which it says, you raise us to the loftiest of degrees in your presence. I I can't help but to feel in my heart there's a key in this in your presence in the presence of Allah does that is are we talking something to the effect of a what the the Buddhists call Zen that sort of present here now the in yeah. present moment that is where the loftiest of degrees are attained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Beyond time and space, the divine presence of Allah is even greater than what we call heaven. Yes. This is where this Salatul Tunjina is taking us. Yes, you are correct. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Shukran. Afwan, Afwan. Uh, Jordan Lampal, Assalamu Alaikum. Do you want to, to do something for Sheikh Ibrahim Fall next week? Forgive me for not looking through the screen and seeing that you were in class today. Are you still there? Samar Sadeen, Juden, if you're still here, uh, let me know if you want to do something next week for Sheikh Ibn Fall. Okay, maybe he'll message me. One more question or comment before we go. Anyone else? I have one more comment. Um, Sheikh yes, Sufi. please. Yes. Uh, now you said that, that Sheikh Amadou Bamba, Bamba is not human. Could you explain that again, please? Woo-wee. Some of the things that I say, I need not say in public, but I'm going to say it today. Sheikh Amadou Bamba said, I'm not from the children of Adam. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba wrote in his last writing, Katima Munajat, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba said, I'm not a human being. I'm not a jinn. I'm not an angel. I don't have no mother. I don't have no father. I'm an immortal being and I'll be on the earth for 400 years. He put that in writing in his last aside before he died. And people generally tell the truth when they're dying. Not saying that the Sheikh died, but in his last aside before he changed form, because Sheikh Ahmed Obama is immortal, he just left his body and changed form. We are dealing with what we call the inner circle of humanity. 
These people, Sheikh Ahmed Obama, Sheikh Ibn Fall, Serene Saudi, I call them the people of the hidden secret. We do not know who they are. Sheikh Ahmed Obama said, my disciples won't know who I am until they're six feet underground and everybody walks six feet away. He said, that's when my disciples will know who I am. Woo, come on. I am in love with Sheikh Ahmed Obama. I work for Sheikh Ahmed Obama, but I don't know who he is. Sheikh Ahmed Obama, he got some writings that make you think that Sheikh Ahmed Obama say, I, Sheikh Ahmed Obama said, I worship Allah for 70,000 years before Allah created Adam. Come on, come on. What is it? What is it? What is it? I, I don't know. Sheikh Ahmed Obama said, I worship God for 70,000 years before he created Adam. Then you got Sheikh Ibn Fall. Sheikh Ibn Fall said, I can tell you 70 of my mama's names. Sheikh Ibn Fall said, you know my mom, mom Saint Abu Jai. May Allah bless us with a lot light from her. But Sheikh Ibn Fall said, I can tell you the name of 70 of my mothers going back. Who, who can tell you the name of 70 of their moms? These people have a secret that I don't know. I'll be the first to tell you, I don't know what their secret is. But they got something extra. Sri Saliu, my sheikh, a Muslim sheikh. Sri Saliu said, I got a representative in the Buddhist religion. Who, who can say that as a Muslim? What kind of, what are you talking about, Sri Saliu? The African sheikh in Tuba, in West Africa, told his people, I have a representative in the Buddhist religion. This is, they ain't heard of that in no Islam nowhere. Who are these people? I don't know, but I know for a fact, Sheikh Ahmed Obama, he ain't from planet Earth. Sheikh Ahmed Obama said this. He said, if it wasn't for the children of Adam, I wouldn't stay on planet Earth for one second. Now, I do have some information about Sheikh Ahmed Obama that I can't say in public. I do have one or two. <laughs> so question, would he be from the Sirius star system? Woo! Let me tell you this. The entire Sirius star system is inside of Serene Sally who and Baki. Sirius A, Sirius B, those three stars, the seven stars that make the gate, the door that we go through to get to the, the Dogon place where we came from. All of those stars are inside of Serene Sally. And I shouldn't even be saying that in public. The three stars in, in the middle of the four is Serene Sally's forehead, Serene Sally's nose, and Serene Sally's chin. Those three stars is on his face. So when you're pointing to the star system Sirius B in the ancient Dogon mysteries, you might be on to something. But I can't talk about that in public. I already said more than I should say. But you're definitely on to something. They ain't from here, I'll tell you that. They ain't from here. Uh, oh, I'm going to tell y'all something, and then I'm going to get off of here. Listen to this, man. When I was in, I hope my battery died before I finish saying this. When I was in the holy city of Tuba, they got a mosque. Sheikh Ahmed Obama's mosque has two fountains. One fountain up close to the front of the mosque and another fountain in the middle of the mosque. Now all the people go and drink from the mosque, from the fountain in the front. They got cups around the big fountain, eight point star fountain with water coming out and cups. Everybody over there drinking. It's another fountain in the middle of the mosque with cups on it, but ain't nobody over there drinking. So I said to myself, you know, I, I'm from America. I don't want to wait in this line and go wait to drink from this fountain with all these people. Ain't nobody at that other fountain. 
And it's cups over there. Ain't nobody over there. Ain't no line. So me, I said, I'm going to go drink some water from this fountain. So I walked over there going toward the fountain to get, I picked up one of the cups. A little boy ran up to me, said, no, 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 no. Bukunen Fide. I'm the Kutogi for because no vegan there. Bukunen. Need to learn Fide. I'm the Fufu to Fufu to Jogi. There's no vegan there. Bukunen Fide. The little boy was telling me in Wolof, no, do not drink from here. There's beings that come from other planets. This is where they drink. This well is not for human beings. Bukunen Fide. Don't drink from here. Popular jogi, the beings that drink here, the little boy was, he said, do not drink from this well. This well is for beings that come from the other planets and they drink here. I put that cup down so fast. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That boy was not making that up. His eyes was big. As so, he ran up to me in fear. No, no, no. Like, it's a reason ain't nobody at this well, you dumbass American. That's basically what he was probably thinking. So I'm going to get off this phone having said that. Uh, if they got a well in Cuba with beings, yeah. My
Salam alaikum. I see dead people. Yeah, I'm calling for the telekinesis class. 